the, the front dash, the distance of the front dash that it covers is really cracked, so which is why you often see Reigns dashing forward and grabbing you immediately. And another thing to his grab, he grabs your shoulder, right, with one hand. This one, he grabs your elbows. It's so incredibly hard to see, which is why I think he gets away with it so often. But the mind game here is, do you duck to punish a high or not? Because he might do the overhead. And then when you're used to blocking the overhead, he can use Tidal Wave as a mix-up. Sometimes I see people ending the high like this. Special cancelling after the high. It's just to throw your opponents off because usually after this, right, rains, they stop and then they block. So if you condition them to expect a special cancel at the end of your 1-3-3, three, three, you might be able to get a poke in like this, right? They react late and then by the time they react, you poke them. I've, sometimes you see people actually doing pokes like this and do Hydro Boost. I actually don't think it's a bad idea. But the way Hydro Boost works is if you have two boosts, two waves that touches... Like you see, right in front of me, there are two splashes. Like there's th there's one right under me, and then there are two in front of me. If the two splashes touch, you're guaranteed to hit him with a, a standing two, a standing two, a jump two. He's completely stuck because he's stuck and in, in blocks on for too long because of the second one hitting. But the problem is, if you duck this, if your opponent ducks this, only one boost. Uh, I keep calling it boost. One water splash touches, and he can down to you. Look Look how interesting it is, so... I do the Hydro Boost normal, not the advancing one. And when he's standing, two boosts touch, so... It's gonna gel. Whoops. And then I'm gonna try to down to him. Doesn't work, right? But if I do Hydro Boost advancing on lock, and I try to hit him... Now he can still down to me. Isn't that interesting? Because usually it's been thought that you do the Hydro Boost advancing always, no matter what. No matter what your ability is, the strongest way to play Rain is through movement. You want to be dashing in and out, tripping people out. This is great, like you can stagger into grab, stagger, one, two, into grab. But I'm just going to tell you, the, the stagger, the back two only, it's going to be a bit stronger. It seems harder to react than the other stuff. You stagger your back two, you stagger your standing two, and you go ahead with the standing one two, standing one three, sorry. Right, so sometimes you're gonna dash and grab, sometimes you're gonna dash and one three. And this stagger here, one three into one three, or one three into whatever else, is great as well. So make sure you stagger a lot with rain and grab a lot as well. Grab, stagger, and move, pretty much. And if you're far in the neutral, use your neutral heavy tools. Or long ranging tools that can disrupt other people's neutral, like 4 4, for example. Right? You might want to do some backdashing after you're staggered 4 2, and if you bait a movement, bang, that's going to be a crushing blow, it's going to hurt. One last advice 